5 rules that will help you achieve any goal. 1. The more ambitious the goal, the more repetitions. If you want to achieve something you have to constantly work at it, if your goal would be to change your figure, whether in terms of muscle building or diet, your repetitions would be daily exercises. Daily repetitions of specific exercises that will build your muscles, or successive repetitions of diet meals. If your goal is to build a thriving business, your repetitions would be successive days, successive hours, of working toward that goal. Doing more chores. The bigger your goal is, the more time you have to devote to it, and the more times you have to return to tasks related to it, to your repetitions. 2. 100-Day Rule If you take on a new challenge, set a new goal, adopt the principle of 100 days. It means that for the next 100 days, you will work on a given goal, that it will be your priority for the next 100 days. If you are unable to make such a commitment, don't start making ambitious goals at all. You need to have a staggered plan, especially when it comes to changing a habit, changing your figure, changing your behavior, achieving something at work or in business. 3. Identify Replacement Behavior This is an essential part of educating any habit and behavior change. For example, if you want to stop drinking coffee, and you always drink it right after you get up, when undertaking such a goal, identify a replacement behavior. That is, write down what you will do right after getting out of bed, instead of drinking coffee. Will you drink tea? Will you drink water with lemon? Or will you drink warm water? Try to identify all possible action scenarios. If your goal is to complete a project, to do something at work, and you can't get yourself together to do it, then the next time you encounter reluctance plan what you will do then. For example, I'll do 10 squats, or 10 deep breaths, and sit down to work. Or I'll go wash my face, drink a glass of water. And I sit down to work. Create a rule for yourself that will signal to your body that it's time to take a planned action. It can really be anything, a sound, a movement, drinking a glass of water. Something that will be a signal, like the firing of a starter's gun on the running course. So that your body knows that you are starting work. In this behavior, it's about breaking the negative behaviors that were moving you away from achieving your goal. Remember to practice the replacement behavior whenever you want to change your habit, a behavior pattern. For or turn conviction into commitment. We often take certain actions in spite of ourselves. We do something because it's expected of us, because others say it's the right thing to do, or because we want to be perceived in a certain way. However, if our actions are not supported by a deep conviction that they are right, if we don't have the internal motivation to do them, it is very difficult for us to get down to doing an activity. Whether it's a diet, a certain job or a phone call, to do something you don't feel like doing, you have to use a great deal of energy to force yourself to take action. In addition, in such a situation, we are ready to give up further efforts for any reason at the first obstacle. If you want to gain real motivation, you must really commit yourself to the task at hand. To do this, you must desire to perform the activity or go through the tasks in question. Like your work, explain to yourself why you need to tackle a given task or project now. Stimulate your intrinsic motivation. 5. Set yourself a reminder. I know, it may seem ridiculous, but it turns out that many famous people, and people who have achieved really great success, use this simple and very effective mechanism. It is especially helpful when your achievement of a goal is linked to a change in your behavior. For example, if you want to be a nicer person, if you don't want to yell at your children, if you want to take care of your health, lose weight, get your work done on time. Whenever the achievement of your goal is related to a change in your behavior, it's worth using a reminder. What is this mechanism based on? For starters, you set yourself an alarm on your phone three times a day. But don't forget to add a short description that is clear to you and that will motivate you to take action. 
If, for example, you don't want to raise your voice at your children, then your alarm could be, remember that you love your children, speak to them with respect and with love. Let them feel it. If you want to reduce stress at work, your alarm might sound, close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. The content of the alarm doesn't matter, as long as you know what it means and it motivates you to a certain action or behavior. Create three different alarms to help you change something in your life or work. The reminders can be about your behavior or, for example, to stretch after a long time at the computer. Do it now. Now set these alarms on your phone for the next 7 days. 